Okay, it's going to be video number 16. Um, this is by request. This is going to be tips on how to make and play a Black Fury in a Werewolf the Apocalypse LARP. Okay, a few keys there. First off, know your tribe. I'm assuming most of the people who are going to play are going to be females or guys who don't mind playing females. For guys playing females, that's usually a harder task to be make it believable. There are no males in the Black Furies unless they are Metis. Um, now I'm assuming these are veterans who are playing, so a Metis Black Fury is something that um, is very difficult to play because they are second class citizens, and they're usually only approved for those who have a little bit of experience under their belt, and the staff knows them. That being said, um, so most of what I'm going to say is I'm going to angle it towards the females who are playing one, maybe for the first time or maybe for they haven't played one in a while. First thing is about making your character. Have your concept set. If you're going to be purebred, you've probably got a lot of Greek heritage to you, because that's the that's where they originated. So you're going to have to keep that in mind, um, in looks, and in potential backgrounds and such. You're going to take um, abilities such as maybe linguistics Greek, maybe a little bit of history with Greek mythology, and so on. Now playing the characters. You don't have to play a stereotype. You never do. However, if you do not play at least partially into the stereotype, you're not necessarily following the, the uh, tribe's own personal agenda, and you're not fitting into what they believe is your position. And playing a guru game, position is everything. From the lupus perspective, you know you always know your position in the hierarchy, and everybody should. Um, it even reflects in the auspices. Everybody's born into a role that they are supposed to play within Guru society. It's kind of the same way in the tribes. They expect something of you. It's about women's rights or about women's strength. Black Fury runes tend to be the ones who they champion women. Um, they will try to show at all times that they are equal to men. So they're always ready to pick a fight. And these, those tend to be the ones that really tend to hate people like the Geta Fenris, the misogynistic types. You don't have to play the feminazi, I want to kick every man's ass type, but there is definitely a place for it. Which is fine. On the same token, you have the other side of things, which is um, the caregivers, the ones who play the mother types. That is perfectly acceptable as well. But you also have to remember some other aspects. The one aspect that I've seen most overlooked by Black Furies and the players who play them is the fact that the tribe is supposed to be intricately tied to the wild. They're supposed to be tied to the wild places that still exist within the modern world, um, the spirits that go therein, and the artifacts that sometimes are found within those. It is overlooked. So... In a lot of ways, they are the natural allies to a tribe like the Red Talons because they respect the wild as much as the Red Talons do, just in a different way. So you've got to kind of find your niche, and any of these could, you know, fit. A, I mean, you could have a Black Fury warrior who is all about fighting against misogyny and the prejudice of men, or you might have one who is all about simply championing the rights of repressed women or abused women you could have one who is literally just a soldier that doesn't care she's just going to do her job and you could even have a in a rune who is um submissive to the male types and plays the part of almost a shield maiden and accepts that as their role and that's just the rune there's four other auspices and they all have their unique perspectives then you have to consider your Spirit Pact. The Black Furies are tied to Pegasus. Now, strangely enough, Pegasus is a male spirit. So, in a way, I look at the Black Furies as his own personal... Um, well, set of concubines. Almost his own harem. But, it's not quite that way. They... You, you, you've got to realize... It's a spirit of honor. Therefore, regardless of what kind of Black Fury you play, 
if you want to be in good with the spirit that pretty much is dominant within your tribe you have to put honor first I don't care what if you're you're a theorist who's all about wisdom honor must be high up there because you're following Pegasus if you're in a room that's all about just the glory honor should still be up there because you're following Pegasus now I understand there are other spirits within there especially such as the Gorgons the Gorgons are unique in the fact that there's five of them and they all have their own unique perspective now grant now according to the canon genre one of them such as Medusa has left the fold and she has abandoned everything so you have to write her out of the equation unless it's part of your backstory that you're searching for but the other four have unique roles if you're going to be a follower of one of the other spirits don't expect as much power or as much pull within the tribe as the other people but that is going to be your accepted role always know what your role is and design your character appropriately therein you can always if you, okay best way to say this is if you start with a rich concept you start with something that that has a lot of potential in the end you will always get to something it might not be the potential you were cho you're choosing but it'll always be somewhere up there so you're going to want to base your character around that you're going to want to look and say do i need pure breed do i need allies do i need to have a spirit familiar um what what abilities do i need to take would my character be somebody who would have rituals and spirit lore or am i going to be leaning more towards something else like am i going to be a champion against uh the vampire menace so therefore i'm going to take vampire lore you know is you know do i know enough of my heritage and to take greek or am i going to take academics where maybe ancient greek is going to be a language that i understand or the greek mythos there's any number of ways you can do it each character should be new and unique it doesn't matter if we have three different uh, females all playing black fury hamid arun they can all be unique in their own way and they can all hold the niche right now we've got two black fury arunes now granted one of them is a foster and one of them is a cliath but they are very different in their perspective they are very different in their outlook and there's no mistaking one for the other the you know the only thing is probably the overriding rage and that doesn't so much have to do with the tribe as it does with the auspice and the rage category so just some tips to keep in mind when you're doing it is stay true to your original concept you don't always have to become what everybody wants you to and you shouldn't become what everybody wants you to but be consistent if you're going to play the stereotype to the max play the stereotype if you're going to be outside the box be prepared for the consequences and play it and don't let anybody tell you that you're wrong don't let them tell you you're playing the bad character the only time that I'm ever going to say that you're playing a bad character is when you're inconsistent when you're playing outside of your nature and your demeanor when you're you're not following through and therefore your character becomes an enigma it becomes something that nobody wants to deal with because it makes no sense just remember to put a little bit of logic in there just a little bit okay that's just some tips for playing a black fury hopefully that'll help some people um, due to the request I got from a certain skinny little individual I'm going to probably be putting up one of these for each of the main tribes I don't know if I'm gonna do it for the other changing breeds but eh, I'll throw these in there from time to time so there you go be feel free to comment